Okay, hello guys, it is me, Toby, back here again after a year. Yeah, at least I'm back. And you may be thinking, this is definitely not amplified. This is definitely not where we were before. But SMPDX has taken on a new form. And I have a lot of explaining to do, so let's take a walk whilst I do that. So, basically... SMPDX has undergone a world reset pretty soon after I stopped making videos on SMPDX and we started our oh, berry bushes 1.14 forgot about them we started a new world I stopped making videos because I was in my final year of school I had A levels I didn't want to fail them so I spent all my time revising and not making videos because making videos took up a lot of my old time and I recently re-logged into my channel I have another YouTube account which I watch YouTube on so I hadn't been on the channel for a good six eight months at all like logged in at all and I saw a comment that was from one day ago that said you haven't made a video in over a year when will you be coming back are you okay have you been busy or is there something else Short answer is, I've been busy, I've had no motivation to make videos, and I have only really been playing Minecraft a bit. So, there's been a lot of issues surrounding SMPDX, because SMPDX I've been wanting to make videos on for a while. And there's been a lot of issues regarding the connectivity of SMPDX. So, SMPDX is a worldwide server, we've got about... I'd like to say 10 active members, 10, 15 active members, half of which are from like Europe, Britain, you know, Nano's Germany, a couple other Germany, you know, and then we got a couple over in the States, in America, and in Canada and stuff like that. Uh, so the server location has always been in America because the founding fathers of SMPDX were, were the Americans, Loon, Nerd, Quirky, they're the originals. And then me and Fluff came in, and the, the that's like how it happened. And then more active members joined. And SMPDX has always been an American-based server, and that meant that for us Europeans, at some point midway through season three, about when I stopped making videos, in fact, the connection to the server became almost unplayable. So me and Nano, particularly, but I know a lot of other of the Europeans have had this issue. Is we either could not connect to the server full stop, like we'd join and get instantly kicked for bad connection, or when we would get on, it would be unplayably laggy server server lag wise. Like, so that that was the issue, and we recently moved the server in an attempt to regain activity because the server completely died. There was only about two people playing on it at all, and we moved the server to uh, the UK, I think, or Europe, somewhere like around there. And now everyone's connection is splendid. Like, the Americans are having no issues, none of the Europeans are having any issues, so we're back on to playing SMPDX. And now I finish school, I've got three or four months with nothing planned apart from make videos, play games, and be active on SMPDX. So there's a lot, I guess, I need to show you guys if you're interested about what I have done because I have been playing just not recording so I've been playing a lot with Nano and Nerd and anyone else who's really active but this season me and Nano are sharing a base and I don't know whether Nano plans to come back to making videos but I'm sure he'll agree to be in some of mine um, but yeah so this was my starter home this house right here uh, I'll go inside uh, it looks a bit dumb on the interior I'm not gonna lie that's because it got blown up by a creeper and I only sort of half rebuilt it because I don't live here anymore. And uh, a Sinrite joined the game. So this is another one of our active members from Britain. And yeah, so this, is, this was my starter house. Like my original starter house I built way back when the series started, season started, sorry. And now I don't live here anymore. Uh, I've started to make this area look pretty nice. So the idea is it's like a farmyard area. And, yeah, so the first thing I did was build these two farms. And, yeah, so I built these farms. 
and I have then worked on this area up here. This is Bladestone's place down up there, and I worked on a path up because me and Blade have sort of agreed to meld our two areas in because he's building uh, something called Cube Town where he's made a town full of cubes and I'm making a farm area and we're sort of melding our places together which could be quite cool and I'm not going to really show you excessively everything because you'll get a look at that in episodes to come but in here chicken cooker you know it's just it's just basically what you'd expect so yeah a couple things we've got on this server we've got the head plugin so we can like get heads for all the mobs uh, over there that is a village a pillager outpost sorry and what ended up happening was we started in 1.12 this world or 1.13 something like that and when we updated 1.14 we trimmed all of the chunks that people didn't build in so we could reset villages and stuff and that just so happened to spawn a pillager outpost right next to my house so immediately i built this wall around it very simple but looking pretty cool and Everyone else has turned that into a pillager farm. I don't know who did that, but someone did. And it just means now the pillagers can't just constantly come and attack me whilst I'm building. So I literally haven't recorded anything on this world. So I was trying to think, what have I shown and what have I haven't? I've shown nothing. So this is, I built this. It is the entrance to the pillager farm down there. I'm not going to go down there. It's not that interesting. But anyway, over here, this is my fish farm, fishing hut. As you can see, I'm taking a lot more care in the not just the builds but like the environment around it and me and nano have quite a good chemistry with building when it comes to making the environment around things so this is definitely going to be a long episode i can already tell but that's just because i'm literally going to tour everything that i have done and nano has done i'm not going to go too into detail on everyone else but that's sin's area over there sin right has just got on and Around here, me and Nano recently worked on this, where we built this cliff face and connected it up to Bladestone's Cube Town, which is up there, uh, because I spoke to Blade the other day, and we agreed that I would connect this up. So we built this stair up here, and now we are officially in Bladestone's Cube Town. As you can see, that's why I guess the name. There are cubes, and like, let's just go and have a look at what he's done. So, as you can see, Blade's Town is very nice. I really like this. And he's sort of got a serious, similar thing to us, where he's taking a lot of care with the environment around. So we thought it would be good to meld our areas together. And it's working out so far, and it will continue to work out, I'm sure. But this area is now on hold, because I am working on other areas with Nano, our collective base, which I will show you now. But these two bridges we built first, first day on the server, and they're still here. And we built this little mine entrance, just sort of making things interesting. Around. So over there, that is Ranger's place, and that is Nexus's place. That is a person called Cody's place, but we don't know Cody. She's not been on videos at all. I know her, of course, because I've played, but you guys don't. This is Fluff's farmhouse and Fluff's farmyard. Um, and this is sort of supposed to be a sort of a collaborative project between all the members of SMPDX. So, for instance, I help with some of these builds and fluff did this amazing farmhouse because it's fluff and he hasn't been on too much recently he's been streaming very heavily which is fair he's doing really well on the streaming side and like that's that's him he should do that i don't really know what else to say uh quirky lives over there in this tower this is mine and nano's main base the camera crew headquarters so this starts as an inside joke between me and nano back in season three just after i stopped recording i think where Ranger and Tadachu set up the Crunk and Corp Incorporated, I think it was those two. And me and Nano wanted to set up a rival organisation called the Camera Crew. And we've got our own little Discord where it's literally just me and Nano in the Discord. And it's where we have bots and stuff to play music whilst we play and stuff and share memes with each other. But we made this build. It is like a massive camera lens in a really nice looking building. And... This is the camera crew headquarters. We've got field reporters under the name of Mailbox out in the field. Um, we may run along some of them. We will see. Uh, but they are out in the field getting us stories. And we are camera crew bringing the issues to you. And our, our official uniform is a salmon head. So, yeah, I don't have one of them on me at the time. 
Oh, by the way, I've changed my skin. I am now Ugandan Thanos, like Ugandan Knuckles Thanos, whatever you want to call. I'm now abandoning the Tobster's Chom Chom <laughs> green big mouth person because I got so many comments saying I was copying Unspeakable Gamer. And I didn't know who Unspeakable Gamer was until I googled him and got the comments. And yeah, I can see where the confusion comes, so I'm going to be changing up uh, that sort of thing. So people stop commenting that. Uh, because I don't intentionally want to copy him, it's just what I do. And in here, this is the inside, so you can see we've got our um, salmon head armor stands. We've got armor stand posing books on this, I haven't used that. And that is our official logo, the sad face banner. You know, we're just strange, me and Nano, it's good. And then we've got our, logo, our slogan, camera crew, bringing the issues to you. Because we're like a news source, so we bring the issues of like magazines and stuff, but we're also a pain. Then if you press this button, you go down into our actual base, where we've got a massive aquarium that took us far too long to build. And we got some of our field reporters, the mailboxes, in our main area of our base. You know, the mailbox field reporters, some of them lay eggs. It's not brilliant. But as you can see, it's got the gold uh, salmon heads everywhere. It's pretty cool. This is our storage area with a world map. So where we've explored so far, this is my place, Cube Town, Pillager Outpost, Fluff's Farm, my uh, where we are now, the Camera Crew HQ, Quirky's Place, Sin's Place over here. This circle is the sort of centre of Spawn Town where no one's allowed to build within the circle because we've got some town hall plans to go there. Nano lives there. Uh, there's a mob farm, slime farm, Dat Nerd's place here, um, Ranger's place over here, some shops, which I will show you soon, and Loon's base is off over here somewhere. I don't actually really know where. But yeah, this is our little storage area, and this place is now properly getting worked on, because originally we just built this, this main place here, and the storage area, but now we're actually working on more of a expansive base so here we got furnace arrays very nice and over here this is what we're working on most recently and it is unfinished as you can see but we're working on an armory because me and nano recently went end raiding so we built this armory room up here and we just need to connect it up but as you can see i really like this room we made use of some of the new blocks that 1.14 added these smithing tables make a really nice floor and we used some of the terracotta, and Loon challenged me way back in Season 3 to find a use for the terracotta that doesn't look disgusting. I think I found it here, so that is a direct at, at Loon. And we got four elytras uh, all set up, and me and Nano are doing an elytraless season because we prefer walking around and building paths. That's our thing this season. So the elytra is going to take a back seat for me and Nano. I've, owned, I've never put an elytra on this season yet so far. So this is the exit to Camera Crew HQ in a cave, making use of the bubbles that you can get. And we've got another field reporter here, Mailbox the Vindicator in a boat. He's a field reporter. We've got some Mailbox Llamas out and about as well, but we probably won't see them because we have no idea where they are. Over there's that mob farm, the spire that Quirky built for no apparent reason I don't know. Nerd lives over there. It's a long walk. We're not going to go over there just yet. But... Yeah, this is where Nano's got a future project and some shops over here. So that is Quirky's Sugarcane Book, where you can just go and pick up sugarcane. Over here, this is my snack van. So me and Nano set up the head shop, which I'll show you in a minute. And a byproduct of the head shop is we get a lot of mob drops, because we have to kill a lot of mobs to get the heads. So we sell the mob drops in the snack van right here. And we've actually got a head to go put in the head shop, which we will do in a minute. And people used to buy a lot from this, but haven't done so recently because, as I said, not much activity has been on the server until very recently. Uh, this is the head shop. It is the inside of someone's mouth. I'll show you the proper head shop. We've got all the heads we have collected so far on the walls, and then the, we sell the duplicates in here uh, for two diamonds apiece. So if you're in an SMPD exit and like the look of any of these heads, including the dragon heads from the end, come and buy. Bye, bye, bye. It is a person in a house, and Nano built the house. I put a face on it. That's that. It's it's dumb, um, but we like it. I'm not sure if anyone else likes it, but me and Nano like it. If you're watching this video and you used to be a subscriber of mine, or you're not a subscriber of mine yet and will be, comment down below what either what series you want to return, any games you want me to play, any series on Minecraft you want me to do. 
and I may well do some of your comment suggestions because there's a couple of other videos I want to do outside of the SMPDX stuff but I just need your guys ideas of what you guys want to see so yeah I've got months and months now before I go to university to make uh, videos and I will probably end up making videos whilst I'm at university as well if I can we will see but yeah so the plan for this season is just to build build up this area make everything look nice me and Nano are the sort of people who go around making places look nice uh, with bushes and little builds and stuff no we're not doing any crazy big projects we're just sort of doing our doing our thing right anyway yeah i'm gonna say goodbye i'm gonna hope that you guys would subscribe even though i've been dead for a year but i promise i will be back back in force and yeah just subscribe i'm gonna do the cringy notification bell on leave a like down below we're gonna do a subscriber challenge you have five minutes to subscribe I'm, I'm kidding. I'm just going to let you let you get on with it. Do what you want. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode, whenever that may be, where we will actually do some proper SMPDX project stuff. But this has sort of just been a just a take a walk episode, I think. So I will talk to you guys soon.